What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NBA Saturday, December 11th. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm gonna go over my top picks for today's NBA slate. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay guys, we have a six game slate tonight. So let's take a look at the point guard position. I like Spencer Dinwiddie. And yes, he should be playing this time. No back to back. So Spencer Dinwiddie from the Washington Wizards playing the Utah Jazz who have a good defense overall and they've been good versus opposing point guards. Spencer Dinwiddie has averaged 29.1 fantasy points per game on the season playing an average of 30 minutes per game with a 22% usage rate. He's projected at 29.8 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.4 times value. He's 5,500 DraftKings salary, the same price on FanDuel. So I like that price on both sites. And Spencer Dinwiddie scored 34 fantasy points in 35 minutes last game. And Vegas thinks there's going to be 219 points scored in this game. So I like Spencer Dinwiddie here versus the Utah Jazz. Okay, let's take a look at the shooting guard position. I like Tyrese Halliburton from the Sacramento Kings playing the Cleveland Cavaliers, who have a good defense overall. They're middle of the pack defending opposing shooting guards. Tyrese Halliburton has averaged 31 fantasy points per game on the season playing an average of 34 minutes per game with a 16% usage rate. He's projected at 32.4 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.6 times value. He's 5,800 DraftKings salary, 1,500 more on FanDuel. So I love that DraftKings price. Vegas thinks there's gonna be 217.5 points scored in this game. And Tyrese Halliburton, has scored 39, 51, and 39 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 35, 38, and 37 minutes. Now this is a back-to-back, -back, so just a little bit of caution there, but I like Tyrese Halliburton here versus the Cleveland Cavaliers. Okay guys, it's time to announce the winner of our $25 weekly PayPal giveaway. And the winner is Kyle Harler. Kyle Harler, congratulations. You are the winner of this week's $25 PayPal giveaway. Please reply to our comment to collect your prize. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you want to enter the drawing for $25 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won. And we'll send you $25 PayPal. So it's that easy, and we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. Okay, let's take a look at the small forward position. I got a value play for you here. I like Caleb Martin from the Miami Heat playing the Chicago Bulls, who have a good defense overall. They're middle of the pack defending opposing small forwards. Caleb Martin has scored 49, 17, and 32 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 33, 31, and 28 minutes. He's projected at 19.4 fantasy points here tonight, and that's 5.6 times value. He's only 3,500 FanDuel's, uh, 3,500 DraftKings salary, 1,400 more on FanDuel. So I love that DraftKings price. Vegas thinks there's gonna be 211.5 points scored in this game. 
So I like Caleb Martin as a value play on DraftKings here versus the Chicago Bulls. Okay, let's take a look at the power forward position. I like Kyle Kuzma from the Washington Wizards playing the Utah Jazz, who have a good defense overall. They've been good versus opposing power forwards. Kyle Kuzma has averaged 31.2 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 33 minutes per game with a 20% usage rate. He's projected at 31.2 fantasy points here tonight, and that's 5.4 times value. He's 5,800 DraftKings salary, 300 more on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's going to be 219 points scored in this game, and Kyle Kuzma has scored 43, 27, and 28 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 39, 38, and 30 minutes. So I like Kyle Kuzma here versus the Utah Jazz. Real quick, guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30-day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all of our DFS tools for all sports. You can try the Position Optimizer, where you can see the top players ranked for each position. And we added a new Player Trends tool, where you can see the top salary differences between FanDuel and DraftKings. It's a really good tool to help you pick out value for the site that you're playing on. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay, moving on to the center position. So I think with the value on this slate, I wanna pay up for Nikolai Jokic from the Denver Nuggets playing the San Antonio Spurs, who have a middle of the pack defense overall, but they give up the six most fantasy points to opposing centers. Nikolai Jokic has averaged 58.1 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 33 minutes per game with a 32% usage rate. He's projected at 59.3 fantasy points here tonight. That's five times value. He's 11,900 DraftKings salary, 700 less on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's going to be 217 points scored in this game. And Nikolai Jokic has scored 62, 71, and 61 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 34, 36, and 36 minutes. And take a look at his last five games versus the Spurs. He scored 62, 70, 66, 52, and 61 fantasy points. So I like Nikolai Jokic here versus the San Antonio Spurs. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smickety smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NBA slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.